methods do we use for induction? We have multiple. Things like sweeping membranes. So when we do a membrane sweep, it's a little bit more aggressive exam. So the cervix tends to have to be dilated, maybe a little bit thinned out, a little bit of face. But what we do is we go into the cervix and we release the membranes from the lower uterine segment. So it's a little bit more aggressive exam. Things like breast pumping. Breast pumping releases your own oxytocin and that may get the uterine contractions going as well. There are things like intercourse. A lot of people will have intercourse. Semen has prostaglandins as well, which may cause some of those uterine contractions.